Okay, recording. Yeah, is my screen seen to you all? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. okay. Yeah. So, uh, yes. this is about well being in classroom. And uh, yeah. it was a nice introduction by Louisa and by Natasha uh, to actually manage the basics with students and then get to something of higher order. So earlier for teenagers, the stress was more, you know, dealing with the grades, their homework, and then relationship conflicts with parents, siblings, and friends. Uh, these days, it has all changed to different, uh, due to the uh, environment differently, they're exposed to different things now. So there's so much of social media, and then instant gratification, access to mature content, which they're not ready for yet, and also the constant bombardment of terrible events in the news. These are quite contrary to what we experienced when we were small. So these cannot be unplugged and disconnected or recharged. They have no means of turning it off. They have to live with it all. And it is not as easy to continue being normal without being helped. So we know that worrying is increasing a lot of uh, depression in teenagers. They are going through a lot of stress and anxiety levels. And we also see now a lot of increased drug use self-harming and even suicide. Uh, these are situations which need to be taken care of uh, primarily uh, with the parents and also with school since they spend a lot of time with us and we could be influencing them also. So for every child, it is uh, important to be uh, having that, uh, sat, uh, that comfort level of being groomed for well-being. And as educators, if we don't try to make them resilient or happy, balanced, engaged, altruistic, grateful, and to find purpose in life, it would be rather difficult for them. And what we teach them uh, when they are small or when they are growing in the initial years or their formative years, then I think they can fall back upon it in the time of crisis, whenever they come across any crisis. At that time, it is difficult to then, you know, uh, get them to the basics of doing all this. So I think primary education or uh, schooling or in college when they're studying, I think this takes them a long way ahead if they are groomed for this. So a robust environmental uh, education environment with, without a foundation based on well-being is uh, not just worth it. So positive emotion, engagement, relationships, meaning, and accomplishment, accomplishments, these are the PERMA synonym uh, acronym mm -hmm. and this helps in uh, building the blocks of a good life so the positive emotions could be experiencing happiness satisfaction etc engagements having interest and the experience of flow and personal growth relationships feeling experiencing, experiencing affection and friendship belongingness meaning uh, transcends into life or in secular or the trans spiritual domain achievement uh, a sense of accomplishment in the regular basis or occupational and vitality, taking good care of our bodies and minds. So physically and mentally, emotionally, they can be groomed as for uh, uh, possibilities. Um, so you can have the physical uh, positive emotions. Uh, you can have the positive emotions developed uh, by different ways, by praising them, especially when they do something well, or even to encourage them to give a positive feedback to each other and to have maybe a gratitude journal if they are you know, close enough to us mm. to conveying that. And during, uh, for engagement, we can use, you know, give them some, uh, uh, some sort of an, uh, what is it, uh, like to I'll help them you know, realize what they are good at. Sometimes they may be good at something, but they're not confident of expressing themselves. So we can build up that kind of a relationship with them and you know, perform some kind of uh, uh, random acts of kindness with someone and helping them understand relationships and also to you know uh, give them the meaning of some uh, emotions in the sense uh, many a times a thank you is also just expressed without meaning it or a sorry an apology so when you bring that to them you know uh, somehow i think it helps them better in future also and then accomplishments uh, help them you know reach their targets some timetables or something they're set up and if they can achieve their targets and goals, that would help them better. So these were some things which I thought were uh, relevant. And if possible, as teachers, we could do something. So these are the references which I used. 
uh, this particular one is a review uh, from the New Zealand government, and it gives a quite a few good good uh, well-being practices which can be practiced in classrooms by helping some students take the role of leadership and helping other students and dividing students among the teachers to have more communication and help them to groom themselves better. So this is what I read about uh, well-being in classrooms. And I think uh, this is what I want to share. Wonderful, very good, very good. Thank you. Can I propose something to you? If we just uh, uh, put on the, our, our posts, also our PowerPoints. 